when we lost Cooper, we knew that we're gonna get another dog. We thought of getting something similar to a Weimaraner, but a little bit different. A visual. We're preset on our breed of choice, and we're doing a lot of research trying to find a perfect breeder. And then this happened. Both Shadow Point and Northlink Weimaraners were really good known to us. Uh, we've hunted with their dogs and we've liked their dogs. And this is how we got steered back to a Weimaraner. There was a lot to plan. Papi was more than 4,000 kilometers away and uh, we did not want to ship him. We got plane tickets. We got a little carry-on that we've shipped to the breeder so Puppy can get accustomed to it. And we got on a plane. We have started our final approach into the Toronto area. Please fasten your seatbelts and reach. So I found myself in Pearson Airport waiting patiently for April to roll in and to introduce me in person to my future best friend. Inside and I never meant to say that. And I must tell you, Koda was a trooper. Five hour flight, no problem. He just slept through it and we had no issues whatsoever. Five hour flight was not the end of the journey. We still had a cab ride to a ferry and a ferry ride itself. Here we were looking at the hatch opening and uh, Koda being introduced to Vancouver Island, a place that he is gonna call home. Now we have a long training journey ahead of us. The list of things we want Koda to do is incredibly long and hopefully he's gonna enjoy all of these activities and we'll be able to raise a great Weimaraner.